All right, so what we want to do is import some addresses or some contacts into Kajabi that you've got outside of Kajabi. Maybe you had an external uh, email marketing system like MailChimp or MailerLite, and you've got a whole bunch of contacts there, and you, you're just wanting to just do everything under the Kajabi uh, platform. And here's how you would do that. So in your main dashboard, you log in your main dashboard, you go over here to your contacts option, lower left hand, uh, lower left hand option here in your uh, menu and you click on contacts. Then you go on over here to the top right hand corner, you have the add contacts button. You just simply click on the add contacts. You can either import the CSV. This is going to allow you to import a CSV, whether, you know, it's a hundred contacts or, you know, 2000 contacts or 12,000 contacts. Um, or you can just go and say, Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to enter each one of those, you know, 12,000 contacts one at a time. You don't want to do that. So we're going to go and click on import CSV. Now, one option is to copy and paste from a file. Um, I honestly don't think I would do that. Um, you could, but I just, I think it would probably be, um, annoying. Um, but you can just click here on this upload file option. Once you have that, another option comes up here for select file. So you just go and you select your CSV file. Now that CSV file is going to be something that you get from your other email marketing platform. It could be, you know, maybe you have a Google sheet that you want to export as a CSV. Maybe you have it all in Excel and then, you know, you would just do a save as a CS, a dot CSV, a comma separated values file. So I do have a comma separated file with addresses in it. We just go, I put it in my downloads. Uh, here addresses for import and you click on open. So something to keep in mind here. Um, this has kind of a replace file. Um, and I can go ahead and continue to upload if I wanted to. Um, let's go ahead and click on continue to upload. One of the things I want you to realize here is there is three unrecognized columns. Now for whatever reason, the email column always ends up being unrecognized. And I don't know why. The reason I, I say that is when you go into Kajabi, it has a number of columns that it has for a contact. Email is one of them. Um, so basically what you want to do is you just want to map out each of these unrecognized columns to a um, column in Kajabi. Now, one of the things you'll notice here is I've got a first name and last name column. That was a column in my CSV file that had to be there because I did a concatenate, uh, which means I, I needed to create, Kajabi doesn't have a first name and last name field. Kajabi only has, uh, when you're importing just a name field. So you have to add your first and last name and, uh, create a new, a new column. Okay, and do a concatenate, which means take Ashley, concatenate it with, you know, which basically means take the first name, concatenate it with the last name, and then you have first name, last name. Okay, and so that's what's going on here. All right, and so we just basically need to tell Kajabi, even though it's not recognizing this email column, to recognize it. And so what you do is you just click on this right here. So it's a little, I guess, edit, edit column, and you click on that. And then you want to map that to an existing field because I know that there's an email field in Kajabi. So I just use the drop down. It's going to show me all the fields. See, it's got an email. These are all the fields that are uh, available in Kajabi. You have an email, the phone number, um, and tags. If you wanted to have a tag, you could do tags. Um, and those are all the different things. So we're only worried about this email uh, field right now. So we're just going to do email and we're going to say map that email field to the email field. Now you see how it's only two unrecognized columns and the two recognized now is name and email. These two I don't care about. Matter of fact, I'm going to click on them. I don't see matter of fact. We actually want to tell them to uh, ignore these um, unrecognized columns. I think we can do that. Skip column. Okay. Same thing here. We're going to go and say skip this last column too, this last name column. Confirm. Okay. So now we can continue on to the import. Can continue. Yeah. So I can add a tag. Okay, so I could say um, Miller Light contacts or MailChimp contacts, or maybe these are all contacts that you got through uh, my my uh, Google form that you were using, you know, or a giveaway, and you want to give them that con that tag. 
Um, and then again, subscribe to marketing emails by checking this box. You're going to certify that you've gathered proper permissions to send marketing emails to every address in this file. And then continue to summary. Um, here we can do the summary. This is how many people that would be in this import file, and I can continue to import. I'm not going to do that though. Okay, so that's how you would do uh, an import. Thanks for watching.